little back and forth there with John and Eddie for a uh, lighthearted uh, battle you guys had going on? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, John's a great player, uh, as you guys know. And, uh, I mean, we're both competitors. And uh, it's tough for us to just get out of the court and, and kind of just not play. So, uh, I mean, when you get out of the court, I mean, you want to make sure nobody gets hurt and, and play smart, but at the same time, go at each other a little bit and have some fun. Brandon, what did you think about, you know, September 9th and not basketball season, basketball season, not even close, and there's about 20,000 people in the game? I mean, I don't expect anything else, you know, from Kentucky fans. That's what you kind of expect. And, uh, I mean, it just shows the appreciation that's here, the tradition, uh, and how, you know, how, how much the fans are behind the players here. And, that, and I think that's, you know, why, why we take the time out of our schedules now to, to come back and play and things like this because we know that, you know, we had a lot of support when we were here. So uh, it means a lot to us. So, you know, we have to take time to come back and do things like this. If you can go back in time and you're a high school kid and you come to Rupp Arena and you see all these NBA players out there, what kind of what would that make you think back then? Uh, back then, I mean, it would it would motivate me. I mean, uh, I would know that I had the opportunity to come here and, and, and be in their shoes at some point if, if I did the right thing. Uh, I mean, you got to think about it. There's that many NBA players the past couple of years. There has to be uh, something going on here where you know the guys know they're going to get better. Uh, and they know, that they know they're going to have a chance to, to win a national championship. So, you know, I would think about why are so many guys going here and making it to the next level. And uh, making it to the next level and being successful as well. So, uh, I mean, I would want to be part of it. Although it wasn't that long ago, what memories pop into your head when you come back here? Uh, I mean, even to this day, I mean, nothing against Detroit. Uh, but there was never, you know, the atmosphere. You know, you don't get that, you know, in many, many pro teams. Uh, the fans here are a lot better than uh, a lot of pro areas. And uh, when you come to Rupp, you know you're going to get the best. Brandon, did you get to work out with the new team any this week? And maybe what are your impressions of those guys if you did? Uh, I mean, I saw a little bit of them. And uh, I think they, I think they're going to have a, you know, a good team. Uh, they got a lot of talent. Uh, and I think, you know, as Coach Cal gets in the gym with them and then works with them, uh, and they start to mold together and build together and grow together, uh, there's going to be a lot of competition, you know, throughout the gym. and. Uh, I think it's going to really pay off. Uh, everybody, really. I mean, I, I don't really watch a whole lot of high school basketball. So uh, this is really my first time to see a lot of them. Uh, and, you know, it's, like I said, it's a lot of talent, a lot of length. You know, this, uh, this is going to be a pretty, pretty big team. And uh, I think they're going to be pretty good. We, right. asked, we asked John the same question. Who's the best point guard that Calipari's coached? Uh, I mean... We're gonna all feel like I feel. I mean, feel like it's ourselves. I mean, I think that's why we, you know, at the level that we're at right now, we're all confident. Uh, but it's a, it's a lot of great guards that he's coached. I mean, you can go down the line. Uh, one of them has been the NBA MVP already. So, I mean, it's it's a lot of stiff competition, and not only just through you know the guards that Calipari has put out, but it's just throughout the NBA overall. I think the the, the deepest position is the point guard position by far. Uh, so, I mean, uh, it's I mean. I'm going to be confident in myself and think that I'm the best, but there are a lot of a lot of great guards that Coach Kyle has helped um, mature the game. What do you think of Kyle's efforts to reach out to his former players? And how much do you enjoy whatever time you had just to hang out with some of the guys? Uh, I mean, it's great. I mean, a lot of coaches, once you're done playing for them, you know, you don't hear from them. You know, that's not the, you know, the same with Kyle. Uh, I hear from not only Kyle, but Strickland, Coach Strick, uh, Kenny Payne, uh, Coach Robick. You know, I hear from all those guys all the time. So it's really a family when you come here. It's not you play for us, you leave, we're done with you. It's, uh, you know, we always stay in contact, always keep in touch. And uh, like I said, it's really family-oriented. Brandon, what's the toughest thing about going? You went, you were at a winning program here in Kentucky. Yeah. To go to the NBA and, and the losses maybe come more than you want them to. The toughest thing about that is just trying to get everybody on the same page. I mean, here at Kentucky, uh, guys want to win, and they want the chance to play the next level. So it doesn't take a lot to get guys to play hard and, and get on the same page because everybody's motivated by pretty much the same thing. At uh, the NBA level, when a guy makes $60 million, there's only so much you can tell him to motivate him, you know? So uh, I think at the NBA level, it's just tough getting guys on the same page or that all want to win and all want the best for the team. But 
when Cal recruits, you know, players, he would recruit players that, that wanted to win. And uh, we all had a, a common goal. So just going from college to the NBA, it's, it's tough finding a group of guys that all have the goal, which is to get better at the team and to win. December 28th this year, the last two national championships are going to be in this building. Can you kind of guess what that atmosphere is going to be like? And in your estimation, what is the rivalry like with Louisville in, in, in like the realm of all of sports? Uh, I mean, I know it's going to be crazy here. Uh, it's going to be jam packed. You know, a lot of a lot of talking, probably a lot of competition. Uh, like you said, the past two national championships will be here. And uh, I mean, I think that's really what the basketball players here. Not that they don't live to you know win a national championship, but that's the game that. You know, you play your hardest. You're making sure that, you, you know, you want to bring a win back to Lexington, you know, because you're going to have to hear about it for the rest of the year if you don't. So uh, I think guys are really tuned in and, and be prepared for that game. And, and not only for, for, uh, for basketball, but for, like you said, for any sport. When you know you're playing the University of Louisville, for some reason, everybody comes out to support, whether you're a volleyball fan, a softball fan, everybody comes out to support for that, at least that one game, just to make sure, you know, that we're behind each other 100%, making sure that, you know, we don't, you know, let them get wins from us. A couple more questions. I don't even need the mic. You got a prediction on the Kentucky Louisville game? I mean, is that a question? That, that's not even a question, really, is it? <laughs> no, nah, I mean, that's a no-brainer. I'm going with Kentucky. Brandon, does uh, being on the same court as Harrison, <laughs> Terrence, DeAndre, does that stir up? Memories, you know, fond memories for you at the final four. Right? Uh, definitely. I mean, I love all those guys. Uh, Josh, in particular, you know, he was my roommate uh, on the road, so I love being around him. Great guy. I never met a guy that's always in high spirits, no matter what situation he's in. He's always happy, and uh, I love being around people like that. And, uh, <clears throat> I mean, we all grew together. You know, we grew into men here, and we were all for one another. We went through things here, and so when you go through things with people, you become closer to them, and uh, nothing can break that bond. So. When I'm here, you know, back playing with those guys, I enjoy myself and I make the, you know, make the most of it because, you know, we all have busy seasons and, and a busy schedule, so we got to take advantage of it.